Continuing our series on the rocket workbench, today we're going to look at centering rings, bulkheads, and body tubes. They may all sound different, but uh, they're more alike than you might think. So let's start by creating a new project. And if you haven't uh, set yours to bring up the rocket workbench automatically, then select the rocket workbench from your workbench view. So we're going to start with the body tube, okay? And it's pretty representative of uh, what we're going to be looking at here today. So this is a stock BT50 body tube. You can see the dimensions are all in millimeters. At the moment, we don't support units other than millimeters, but uh, that'll be corrected in the next release. So you'll be able to uh, support any archaic measurement systems your country happens to use. Okay, so we have three parameters, and let's zoom in a bit. We have an inner diameter, an outer diameter, and a length, and that's it. Now, the reason why this is common to all of them is if we look at a centering ring, it's going to have an outer diameter and an inner diameter as well, except the wall itself is going to be a lot thicker, and the length is going to be a lot shorter. For a bulkhead, it's a centering ring with an inner diameter of zero. Um, so at its core, that's all that we have. Um, but obviously, there, there's uh, a lot more options that I've got built into it. For the body tube, it's pretty simple. Okay, so what you see is what you get. Um, I'm going to cancel that. We're going to move on to the next one. So the next one is the centering ring. Okay. So as I said, it's a body tube with a very thick wall. Uh, we have an inner diameter that is meant to hold another body tube and an outer diameter that is meant to fit on the inside of a body tube. Okay, The thickness will depend on your material. For example, if you're making it with plywood, if it's made out of uh, matte paper or similar. Okay, um, So you can adjust each of those basic parameters. Okay, now I'm going to go through some of the other features not in order. So one is a step. And you will see some centering rings uh, of this design, for, um, commonly made out of fiberglass, for example, where you would have a step and your body tube would fit here. So the outer diameter would actually match your uh, outer diameter of the body tube. And this is the part would, that would fit on the inside of your uh, body tube. Okay. Now, when you're specifying the thickness for this, the thickness is for the outer portion. The step has its own thickness, so you can specify them separately. Okay, so I'm going to take away the step. Notched. So if you've made uh, low-power model rockets, you'll be very familiar with this. Uh, this is something that you would often see, for example, uh, Let's look at, uh, what am I looking for? Side, there we go. So this is a notch that would allow you to put a um, engine retaining hook in there and will give you space to lift the hook to remove the engine, okay? And again, you can specify the width and the height. Holes. Okay, so we can specify a number of holes concentric around the body tube. Now I have it turned on here, but you can see it actually coincides with the notch in its default value. Okay, so one of the things you can do is give it an offset. The offset is in degrees. So I'll go to a 30 degree offset. And now you can see it's just offset from that vertical by 30 degrees. I'm not limited to one. I can add as many as I like. So one use case for this, for example, would be uh, for um, adding a retainer, uh, such as the Aeropack retainers, um, and it would create the screw holes for you to do that. Okay, now if I take away the notch, I'm going to have a little more fun with the holes here. So I'm going to do four. I'm going to increase the diameter, not to something realistic because I'm just kind of messing with numbers here. So I'll make it a diameter of five. And you can see that we get an error because the hole extends inside 
the center diameter. So we need to move it out a bit. Uh, let's move it out to nine. Okay. So if you want to make a cluster centering ring, then you can use this as well. Okay. Uh, you can make the outer ring, outer holes the same size as your inner hole, or for example, what I've done in the past, I've had a 75 millimeter main motor with four 38 millimeter outer motors. So you can do that as you require for your project. Okay. Now, if you include the step, uh, okay, so we have a problem with the step because it extends outside the step. So let's increase the diameter of the step. So, I mean, the default values aren't going to matter to your project. Uh, you may have to adjust these in order to match. But when you have the step, it's going to put the holes through the step as well. Okay, so let's take that and hide it. Now let's add a bulkhead. So bulkhead is basically a centering ring without the center hole. So we have most of the other options. We can create a step and we can create the holes and we can make them concentric. Okay, so these are a few basic shapes. They're certainly used at many points in uh, a rocket for centering rings, for uh, uh, bulkheads, for uh, end caps to uh, electronic bays, to uh, any motor mount, uh, or sorry, engine blocks inside the motor. You can even do launch lugs as a body tube. So this is gonna give you most of the shapes that you require.